Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about assembling the E3D V-Sync hotend, but before I get to that I wanted to show you all the parts that come with your E3D V6 purchase. So here is the heater block, here is the heat sink that your heat break screws into, here is a length of PTFE tubing that you're going to use even if you are going to drive the hot end through direct drive you still need it. Here is the thermistor for measuring the temperature. It has this weird connector in one end. I believe that's a Molex connector. Nowadays every purchase of e 3 v 6 ships with this silicone sock. This is for better thermal management. Here is the heater element. You need to choose what type of which one you want, 12 volt or 24 volt when ordering. Here is the fan duct and the fan that it comes with. So if you don't have the extruder that has a different fan, you're going to use this. Again, it has the same type of connector in, in sand. And they go into this cable. Here are the male versions of that. And on the other end, there are just regular jumper DuPont cables. It ships with one single zip tie and here is the heat brake. These two parts you are going to use for mounting the PDFE tubing inside the hot end. It comes with this 0.4 mm brass nozzle. I'm not going to be using that one. I'm going to be using this hardened steel nozzle. It is better for abrasive materials, but otherwise, as we make, as you can see in the video, they are pretty much the same thing. It also comes with some heat sink compound or thermal paste. I'm going to be using my own, but you can use the one included. And here are some screws. Now let's assemble this. First of all, grab your nozzle and the heater block and screw the nozzle into the heater block. Tighten it all the way but don't use any force and then unscrew it about half to a quarter of a turn. Grab the heat brake and screw it inside the heat block until it butts up against the nozzle. Using a spanner, tighten the nozzle against the heater block but don't use too much force as the last tightening should be done when the hot end is hot. Grab the thermistor, insert it into the heater block and then use the included grub screws and the included allen key to secure it in its place. Don't over tighten too much as only you need a little bit of force to make sure it doesn't move. Grab the heater element and then insert it into the heat block. Use the included screw to secure it in its place. Make sure you insert the screw from the correct side, so insert it from the side that doesn't have any threading and it will go to the other side and secure it in its place, acting like as a clamp. Now get your thermal paste, you can use the one included with your kit, I'm going to be using my own. And then cover the exposed parts of the heat brake using the thermal paste. This is the part where the heat sink is going to screw in. Once you're done applying the thermal paste, uh, screw the heat sink to the heat brake.
Now using the included screws, screw the fan onto the fan duct and then put the fan duct on the heatsink. Now the assembly of the hot end is mostly complete. To finish it all you need to do is grab the hot end with a spanner and then connect it to your 3D printer and heat it up to uh, operational temperature and then tighten the nozzle while the hot end itself is hot. After that the assembly is complete. And this is how the assembled hot end should look like after you've inserted the PTFE tubing and then place the silicone sock on top of the heat block. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like below and thanks for watching.